Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Farm Simulator 2022. Let's kick a tire, get started here. So we ran across a kind of a big issue here. Um, this thing is already full. You can see out of space. So I am thinking that it can't keep any more in it, obviously. So... Instead of wasting up production, we, I think, are going to need to fill this trailer up. We might need to have a trailer down here, actually. Uh, how much are these trailers? These little boy trailers, like the ones that we got here. 28,000? Hmm. And is ours a new one, or did we get that used? Uh, where is it? Oh, we did buy it new. Okay. Um, I mean, actually, while I think about it, we should just get a low boy for down here just to fill up this guy. Um, yeah, because otherwise, it's just going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab the money for it. I did not want to take out any more of a loan. Um, let's borrow 31. And let's go ahead and buy it. And this is going to be a trailer. Um, F. This is going to be our sixth trailer. So we're just lettering the trailers. We're not doing something really crazy. Um, let's see here, trailer, and as we get this going here, F. Alright, so I think I'm going to pick that up, and I think we're going to have a little, uh, maybe a small montage. Can we get chrome rims? There we go. Extension. We don't need that. Alright. Yep, let's get this and get a montage rolling of us putting these pallets on. Okay, I just realized before we do our montage that these things are exactly the same length, which normally you would think I would be like, oh, it's a ripoff. Actually, it is kind of, but we do need this ramp to get our seeds up and stuff on this one. Uh, so... In it. This one is actually a little lower. But that's interesting that you can basically put the same amount of stuff on both of the trailers. Alright, we're going to delay the montage for another few minutes. I actually want to try out this winter snow plowing. And it look, I just leased it, so it cost me $300. So... Definitely worth playing around. Looks like it goes up, down, all over. I actually was going to put it on Clifford, our new Massey Ferguson. But I went to go take him to the shop, and he couldn't even steer because of them rear tires. So we got to put it, I guess we have to use it on Freddy. Um, let's go ahead. Why is this? Oh, saving. I don't know why it's saving. Um, there we go. Okay, uh, let's see. We want it to be down. It's down. Um, it looks right. Oh, is this not going to help our situation here? Uh, what? That's weird. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so let's try that again here. Let's lift our plow. So I have not played around really a whole lot with this winter stuff. There we go. Oh, okay, let's get it over here and start. Oh, why are you not wanting to plow there? Are we too close to the equipment or something? 
Yeah, it's doing something weird. Um, we're all the way down, right? Yeah. We are all the way down, and there's no other controls that I can't see. All right, let's push it there. Let's lift up. All right, let's see if we can get some of this cleared out. Might have to take it back to our farm and see what it does there. All right, let's... I don't know. After you lift it off the ground, it shouldn't come backward. I don't... Like... See, it's moving now. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's try this front part. This might be because it's too close to the road. Maybe? I don't know. Can we get it over here? Oh, that kind of... I was really looking forward to that. Well, let's go back to the farm and see if we can't plow some. All right, back at the farm, you can see it plows. Um, I'll bring you with her a little bit. Let's just start shoveling it this way. Keep working our way back ways. I noticed you can actually plow fields, too, and ones that aren't yours, which is very interesting. So let's back up over this. Obviously, I'm not going to drive into the field just to plow snow. Um, but we could check it out. So it's pretty good. It does a much better job. And it does seem like as soon as you get to land, it just stops. Like, area you don't own. Like, that's considered road. So it's not doing it there. Also, I want to... Why is it unloading snow like that? That's so weird. I mean, I know that it's a new mechanic, but that seems a little odd. Also, all right, let's go ahead. We're going to try using it with maybe something without mm, very much power. And let's give that a whirl and see how it goes. wonder if this guy can even push it. <laughs> To be honest, it might be rough going. Uh, for one, it's wheels. For two, it a uh, lot less power. Well, that's good news. He's not tipped over as soon as we hooked up. All right, let's see. Let's drop him down. Let's see if we can't push back. Oh man, he is really struggling. Now, this has only got 70 horse. Oh, that is rough. Freddy makes this look easy. Easy, easy, easy. All right, so we've got that figured out. Let's unhook him. So can the Veltra push it then? I'm really curious. So we're going to go from one or a 70 horse up to a 90 horse or a 190 horse. Let's try out Pink Panther. All right. We'll see here. I didn't think I, I think that's a pretty interesting mechanic that it struggles that much. Let's get zoomed in here. Um, he doesn't seem to care nearly as much. Let's get this over here. Let's give him a whirl over here. Let's give him a run and see what happens. But it seems like he was in a much better spot. Oh, yeah, 14, 12. Come on, drop down the gear and work it. So it works Pink Panther even a little bit. Alright, I'm thinking it'll do fine on the Massey Ferguson now, but I did want to show you on Clifford here. Let's take uh, old Clifford out to this field, and I'll sh tell you what I mean about it won't turn with them duels on. 
Now, it might be all tractors wheeled in the field. I didn't actually try this part, but let's go ahead, you know, over to the neighbor's field and tear it up. We don't want to tear up our own stuff. So, we're just going to peg it, right? We're going to peg it. And, as you can see, the plow works in fields you don't own. And look at this. We're just, we're turned as far as we can, and this thing is not really turning that well. <laughs> So, oh, come on. There we go. Let's go over and see if it does okay with the plow on it when it's behind the plow. I think it'll be fine, but I'm just kind of curious. I'm really interested in this winter stuff, so let's get them turned around. Maybe plow a roll this way. Oh, yeah, he seems like he can handle it like a champ. All right. Oh, don't wreck the field. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Oh, I should lift that plow up, huh? All right. Now let's see. Right here. Yeah, he's not having no issues, and he can basically run it like Freddy could. That's pretty neat. I'm pretty... Oh, you can only push up to a certain point. Oh, oh, mistakes are being made. Um, so it looks like after you push enough in an area, it, it really don't like it. Let's look up from the front. Alright, let's get her plowed back here. Oh, you know what? Maybe that was the case, but it also might have been I was just going too fast to actually get it to move well. Huh. Alright, well, we got to play with snow. I am pretty pumped with that. So now let's start loading the eggs. That is interesting. Them pallets, no matter what you do, after too tall, they kind of freak out. But we do have a bunch of pallets on there. This should be a really good sell. Um, so what we're going to be doing here... Oh, we can unstrap these. I wish there was a little bit more straps on this trailer. But it does work. And we are going to go ahead... And start advancing towards our harvest here. Alright, we had a couple things go on. First of all, um, we are going to go ahead and get this cultivator. It's on sale pretty cheap. And we are going to just grab it. We do need a second cultivator. Um, and that is going to help us out on the cultivating process. Uh only thing I feel like we really need now is a second harvester, and I think we can start expanding our fields quite a bit. 
This guy should be pretty good. If you're wondering why I have the forklift over, over here, we have, um, where is it? The food is not going to last us, which means we're going to have to panic and buy some grain. Not too thrilled about that. We may have bit off more than we can chew on this last deal. So let's grab eight of them for 11000 And actually, while we're here, we're going to grab a little bit a fertilizer it too because we were running a little bit on low on that oh we are having a rough go here folks but uh, we need this harvest to really pay off now um, <laughs> or we need something to pay off here at some point we're running out of money quickly that loan is starting to hurt us and we got to quit buying stuff, which is clearly not my fault. I am not taking responsibility um, for my own actions. So that's a thing. But um, I think we'll be able to get these back over there. That's right. I got to drive these up on the trailer. Um, let's see here. The cool thing is, is when we unload these, I'm not hitting the reverse. I wonder why it's doing that. Yeah, it does that sometimes. I'm not actually reversing it. It'll say that I am. Let's get her up there. Um, so I'm going to load these up. We're going to go back to the farm. And we're going to feed the chickens. All right, we are back at the farm here. Let's tip these back just a little bit. And I have unloaded a little bit. I think this is going to actually... Get them most of the way back up. We'll see here in a second, but let's go ahead. We got, we definitely, this was pricey. I don't want to do this again. We may actually have to buy a, a wheat field of some sort. Um, how full was that? Let's see here. Oh, it's total. So it is full. I don't know if it'll fill itself up or not. Let's unload these here. Yeah, we got to start making money big time here, guys, in the upcoming episodes. I'm going to go get this unloaded and get us ready for harvest. And we'll see you in the next episode, folks.